everyone, Dr. Michael Corsell is here today. I want to talk to you about a few things. The first thing is, um, actually the topic of, of this is how to survive the doctor's office, or patient etiquette 101. How to really kind of speed up that visit time. Because number one is know that you're going to be uh, waiting. It's, it's kind of like the DMV. You might get a ticket or you might have an appointment, but it's not going to guarantee that time. So no um, appointment time is, is guaranteed. So it's just accept the fact, you, fact that you're going to have to you're gonna have to be waiting. Uh, but my most important tip is be nice to the front desk. Front desk is like the gatekeepers of our clinic. Be nice to them. They'll probably be nice to you. If you're more difficult, they're going to have to spend more time um, uh, kind of dealing with things. So. Just be nice. It's a great thing to to be to do. Um, be nice to everyone. Um, next thing is be prepared. So remember to bring your insurance card. Bring some photo IDs. Bring uh, bring your wallet. You'll be surprised that some people forget their wallet and can't pay their copay or what have you. So be prepared. If your insurance has changed or you're not sure if it's changed, bring your info. Okay. Uh, number three, show up on time or actually early. But just be aware if you do show up really early. We still might not be able to see you because we're going to have patients who already have filled up those slots who still have to be seen, especially if they're on time. However, for the late folks, if they're late, they miss their appointment, you kind of move towards the back of the line. So um, it is better, when in doubt, show up a little bit early and being prepared. Now, once you get back to the back room, uh, tell the nursing staff when they ask, you know, they get your blood pressure and all that stuff, they ask, so what are you in for? Let them know what you're in for. Don't just say, uh, I just want to talk to the provider about that one. No, tell them all your chief complaints because um, one of the things that really slows us down, and I promise we're not being slow on purpose, we do want to spend as much quality time as we can to address your health concerns, but the thing that really slows us down is like, um, my door's on the, my ha hand is on the handle of the door, about to open it, and a patient will say, no, oh, by the way, I've been having chest pain for the last day. I'm like chest pain. We gotta do EKG, do all this workup, um, etc. Or you know what? I want a full STD panel. And I'm like, well, we got. I gotta go and ask a lot more history, so it takes up more time. Or if you're a little bit shy about your chief complaint, do oh, I have a rash down there? You gotta tell the nursing staff what you got going on. Tell them all those chief complaints to speed things up, so they will allot enough time for the provider to spend enough time to address all those. But keep in mind, if there's too many chief complaints, we for sure want to address it, but we probably will need to split it up maybe in a couple of visits. Okay. So the next thing, number um, number five, uh, is your medication list. So. Uh, my nursing staff will always ask you, you know, what, what medications you're on. They need to update your med list so you're, we have the most, most up-to-date information. Because what if you prescribe something and it interacts with a medication we had no idea that you were on? So the best thing to do is actually take a picture of your prescription bottles or write down the name of the medications on your phone or somewhere so you can easily tell that to the nursing staff and they can easily write it down. So again, speeds it up. Um, now an another tip I tell people, there are some popular time slots for uh, patients who want to be seen on time. Uh, the best thing to do is schedule first thing in the morning, right when we open, which is 8 o'clock. The next sec uh, next best time is right after lunch. We start right at 1 o'clock, so that way there's no one else in front of you who's slowing things down. <laughs> um, so think of those two slots, those popular time slots to be seen on time. Uh, the next thing is medication refill request. Uh, the easiest thing to do you just call up your pharmacy. You can ask them to ask us to put in a request in for medication refills. And that can just be through, um, which I'm going to call it, through online requests. You know, they just click a button, we just click a button to refill. If you need to be seen, we're going to tell you hey, you got to come on in to be seen for that refill. But that's the easiest way versus waiting on hold, on the line, for someone to pick up. Now, to, uh, that brings me to the next point patient ally, or uh, it's our patient portal is the easiest, best way to connect with us and even trying to make an appointment too versus again waiting on hold uh, for someone to pick up the phone. Uh, patient ally. It's supposed to be your ally, your friend. It's the patient portal. You can communicate um, securely with us over email. Alright? So if you're not signed up, sign up for that one. Um, the last thing is you know you're going to wait, so the, uh, the easiest thing to do to speed up the waiting time is actually keep yourself occupied. So bring a book, bring an iPad for your kids or for yourself, bring your work laptop, get some emails done, um, make some phone calls, but make the phone calls in the office or in the back office, not in the waiting room. You don't want anyone hearing your business anyways. 
So I hope those all make sense, but I think the most important thing is be nice to that front desk.